uh, pantheons, they have an ultimate god yeah. who is everything else comes from. So even in these corrupted ideologies, because everyone would have been on the same one, one god worship alone without any partners, with time it can become changed. Yeah. And the way it becomes changed is when we take someone who is pious and we give them more um, praise and we put them in a pedestal where we can them. And with generations they become objects of worship. And we see this all the time with Isa alayhi salam, we see amongst the Christians, they've taken a, a great human being, who was a prophet from Allah, messenger from Allah, and they've taken him to a state when he shouldn't be even to Allah himself. So this is the you know, the common thing. So you're absolutely right, there, there are messages sent to all the people. Now this is just, you know, one of the things that our Jewish brothers and sisters, they say is that we are chosen people. I had a discussion with a Jewish guy now, just like, no, just weird. I think you were there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I, I was telling him, Ishmael, right? I read, I watched a rabbi movie once, like a clip on a rabbi saying that Jews used to name uh, their children Ishmael, right? Uh, and he's like, no, we didn't. Maybe that happened 2,000 years ago. Right? He's, he probably like knows how to say it better than I do. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but what I'm saying is like, uh, you know, the, the story of the, the prophets throughout history is obviously the strength of the Islam, is, is the fact that the, the core pillar of the, the belief is around obviously Shahada and the belief in the, in the final messenger, but also the, the, the Quran, right, which stands with time, etc. Uh, but it's also very interesting to see like uh, a historical view of how the messenger, how the messages came, and, and and sort of like for me, like when I when I look into Islam and religion, you know, this, this, you know the story. Some people come to Islam basically from from reading about the Prophet. Yes, and and so it's interesting to see like the, also the stories of other prophets. Yes, and how religion generally, right? Hundred years ago, religion um, was mainstream in the sense that nations were identified beyond the borders; they're identified by the religion, and so that, like, you know, and, and that is interesting that throughout human human time, like, the history of humanity basically and religion came sort of very similar, and it's it's nice to see that if you know, for us sometimes, ancient, like Egypt, right, and the pharaohs and the fall of the pharaohs and all of the history sometimes with these supernatural things happening that don't happen within with, with our with today we have science we have gravity we have mathematics and we have the rule of these things right we don't believe in mystical uh, magic like uh what's it called uh, like supernatural we okay i i i rephrase right we do believe in like supernatural maybe uh, human uh, like beings etc right but we haven't seen miracles happen right we don't see miracles that's not probably that's probably our test uh, the, this this uh, day and age the test our test is to like not see that and believe right but history had a different paradigm on like like human human beings in history have different look at religion because uh, the Jews, I mean not the Jews, but the people, the, the, the message of Moses was revealed through uh, through doing acts that, that people saw to kind of like, to, to, to believe in the message, right? The messenger. Yeah. That's a Muslim. Yeah. Do you believe Islam is the way or that other religion like Christianity can also be the way? I just want to get your perspective because you seem so like we, you're we originally for me, for me personally aren't all religions away in a way uh, I, I mean, this is the gentleman to oh, gentleman I was telling you yeah <laughs> what does that mean because didn't everything start with Judaism then God sent down Christianity as a message and the final message was Islam so in a way see someone that believes in Christianity, I can't really decide for myself to say that that person decided Islam is not the way, but Christianity is. But what if they were born in a Christian family, they're around the Christian environment, they don't know any better. And Islam is not necessarily portrayed in the best of ways in the world. By whom? 
why everybody? I mean, even we're Middle Eastern, no, Lebanese originally, it's really hard. Like, even in the Middle East, religion is used for political polarization. So, for example, he was introduced to religion in a much nicer way than I was as a child. And these things, they're very hard to clean slates yourself from and sort of move on. So this, I think we have to unpack this a little bit because you, and even what you said, there's a lot yeah. in there. But let me start backwards. Yeah, let me just answer him like yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. sorry, interrupt. You, you said that so I believe that other other religions. Oh yeah. Okay, so what I genuinely what I believe in, first of all, is no one can the, the, the message of Islam and and the test of God is uh, one that is a pure and good message for human beings. I was having this discussion with her in the morning that, you know, it's, there's nothing in religion that, uh, that teaches you something like to harm for you, right? And so for me, I think that I don't like to have these divisive sort of left or right uh, arguments mm. where like, is this religion right? Is this religion wrong? I, you know, in a sense, is it like the, the for, for me at least, right? I see that there's a path for every single human to find to really to, to believe if there's a creator or not. Some people might find it in like in physics. Like, uh, someone might find it in biology. Someone might come to uh, someone might you know just find it because an event happened with him, or he heard someone telling him a story, and that sort of gradually took him towards uh, the, the creator. Okay. So let's say Christianity. You take in a priest, you know, pra praising God. Then you go to church, then you start asking questions. Then that leads you from one question to another, to another, to another, and you find your way into Islam, let's say, and you take a shahada, and you believe in one God. Did that religion, did that play, did that, did that whole experience, was it a bad thing or was it a good thing? If it ultimately led you to... to, to yeah. So... Part of your journey. Um, what I don't like is to, like, categorize and, 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 and cancel. I don't like that. No, no, that's I don't, I don't, God, I don't, I don't who think... are we to tell anybody you should choose this way of worshipping God? That's why I said, so let, so let me bring not. you to these, yeah, these no, no, two no, gentlemen, no. because there's no confrontation. Yeah. They will be able to articulate anything. <laughs> you're, you're, no, no, you're praising no, us. No, 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 you're praising no, us no, too, no, much. Praising you too much. Subhanallah. I think that... No, they're speaking to very... Oh, I see. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I think like... Oh, we can try. We can try. I agree with what you're, I, I, what you're saying. So let the two let. Yeah, I, just in a nutshell, just a quick, quick answer to that is that for me, because I do believe in something, right? I have a look on things. So I don't think that, uh, you know, cancelling, uh, cancel culture actually helps our message. Okay, I just so that's what I think, right? So our message is like to not to, like the path towards you, you want someone to come closer to what what you believe in is not harmful for anybody. What you believe in is is uh, just between you and your creator, and it's uh, a message of peace and a message of love, etc. So that doesn't come through by me having an opinion on someone else's uh, uh, religion. Because if I do that in a way that is pro pro uh, provocative, it doesn't. It's not my message at all. So, like, if I do, if I disc have a you know a message towards what I believe in, that's that's where like uh, I, I you know. That's where I believe. I'm gonna bring the camera on this side. Okay. I want you to stand in between Imran and the brother. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying opposite things to a certain extent. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we, don't, we don't necessarily like. No, like no, it's a, I mean, do you disagree yeah, about laughing? No, 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 <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm a scientist by nature. We like to. Okay. We, that's okay. my problem. Okay. It's our first time here. It's not a problem. What, 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 I'm what, a scientist what, by nature as well. It's not a problem at what, all. What's your um, field? Field. Research. Fantastic. Okay. So my wife studied disordered proteins in her PhD. Yeah. 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 So as a scientist, I have to say it, it's really hard to take, and I don't mean this. But 
it's really hard to take something that was given down to people 1,400 years ago as fact. Well, you, 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 you guys have said quite a lot. Yeah, let 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 Imran. Let's see if he can perhaps perhaps uh, address some of those things that you. you okay. So that, so. As a principle, there's nothing, no issue with science and religion. There is, of course. As a principle. Where does evolution sit? Well, we can talk about it. Yeah, we can talk about it in a bit. Because I don't think there's an issue, but we can we can talk about it. Yeah. Uh, it's going to get it's going to get complicated, but <laughs> let's unpack things. So you were saying the journey as valid as the final destination. If it's Islam, essentially, you're saying if someone's one is a Christian and they learn all these things and they eventually take the shahada, they become Muslim, yeah. then that's great. I agree with you 100%. This is different from saying that all paths lead to. General, I agree. I, they're different things. I, I agree with that. So that's a perennialist view. Uh, Islam generally doesn't does not have a perennialist view, because while Allah says in the Quran specifically that I've given you a religion in Islam and this is the religion that's accepted. Now, what is Islam is a different thing. How people are judged is a different thing. Yeah. So I completely agree with you when you say that someone who has not received the message of Islam correctly can't be judged for not accepting it. 100%. This is the Islamic position. So and what happened? Sorry, sorry but yeah. we aren't anybody to judge we them, are not, right? We are not. So like I had a discussion with a guy over there a while ago and he's like, I kept telling him, listen, even if you read verses that say that, you know, this guy who doesn't believe, he's a disbeliever and he dies a disbeliever and he's going to, 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 to hellfire. That's for God to decide, Exa not for us. It's not, not for us. It's not for us. And it, I, I read somewhere like, if you are, if you're a believer, but you pass that judgment onto someone, thinking that you have the right to pass that judgment onto someone, you go to hellfire. So, well, there's a hadith of the Prophet saying to that particular point yeah. that the person who calls the other person a kafir, yeah. indeed one of the two is a kafir. Yeah. In other words, if he's not a kafir, <laughs> you've just become a kafir. Yeah. So, you know, so it's a very firm, very strong thing. Yeah. Do not judge, do not call people kafir. Yeah. Unless they do something openly, they say, "I don't believe in the Quran, I don't believe in the Prophet Muhammad." That's kufr. We, yeah. we, there's no, there's no. But there's a there's a verse on that as well, right? But, but what, I'm, what I'm trying to say to you yeah. is that you can't go around judging people and calling exactly. people a disbeliever yeah. because indeed one of the two is a disbeliever. Mm -hmm. So if he's not, then you've become a disbeliever. So yeah. it's a very strong. But but please go ahead because there's obviously yeah, a lot sorry. to unpack there. Yeah. Sure. So I think so. That, so that, that was one point that we're not perennialists. Yeah. Not every single path. Is, gonna, is, is the correct path. True. Just as everyone deciding the way they're going to drive in the road is going to lead to a harmonious driving system. It's not. It's going to yeah. cause chaos. People will be, uh, red light for me means put my accelerator to the floor. It's, it's not going to work if it means every, for everyone else it means stop. Green means go. You're going to have accidents. It's going to cause a lot of havoc. Sure. So there needs to be some system. Now, the, the question is, is that when, when we're having our discussion, uh, yeah. You know, you're saying, can, I don't know what you mean by cancel culture in this context, but if I'm having a discussion with who is a Christian, they're saying to me they believe that God is three in one and the only way for salvation is that God must come back, become a human being and die for your sins. For me, from, from, my, from Islam, from an Islamic position, this is not correct. Now, when I discuss with them, I'm not discussing with them from the point of I hate them and, you know, I'm going to show them. And No, it's a position of... I believe that the way I'm living in the world and what I believe will lead to a better hereafter and I want that for this human being. Yeah, that's okay. And so you come, from a, you come from a place of compassion towards that individual because you want them also to benefit from this. Now, that will be a discussion. 